I want to bring up something RG3 neglected to realize. This ties into social media, ties into football, ties into just a couple things I've noticed, and I'm sure you've noticed the same things. Sure. Based on the Olympics, NBA, NFL, baseball. You could say the advent of social media was the cause of this, but I was saying, Danny G, low and crown, feel free to chime in. When did people find themselves totally confident in posting things on social media with no fact behind them? When did people decide, I don't need to know anything about this topic, but you're still going to get my hot take on Twitter or Instagram or TikTok? No, everybody's an overnight expert on everything. That's the crazy part about like, but, it. But even like uh, you, you brought up the woman who won the Olympic gold. Yeah, the main caliph. I'm not one that I'm, I'm not a reporter. I'm not a, I'm not an analyst. You know, we do a fun radio show and podcast here on Fox Sports Radio. But sure. even I did my due diligence to be like, let me let me do some research on her sexuality and her, uh, you know, and what she identifies as versus what she is before I start spewing off. Do you know how many people just say things without even looking up the basics? They'll they'll see something and be like, here's my hot take. And they've done it literally happens. no... It, it, whatever the big story is, the overnight experts come out instantly. And it's like, how do you know anything? Like, this isn't a political conversation, but Kamala Harris announces Tim Walls as a running mate. All of a sudden, everybody's an expert on that, on him. Most you know people, I had no career. idea who Tim Walls Mo- was. Most I knew people. he was the governor of Minnesota, well, but I didn't know what? anything You're about him. You're an exception, Iowa Sam, because it seems like everybody knows everything about this guy. Nobody knew anything about Overnight. him. Overnight. It's just the, the culture of... of, of Social media, it, it, really. It really is wild. Everybody's a Lanny Poffo. Genius. Everybody's a genius. <laughs> they, it's so funny because J.D. Vance. An overnight and, genius. And Tim Waltz. Two guys that unless you are really locked in and plugged into CNN and Fox News and MSNBC, unless you're a political type of guy or gal, you probably had to go do a little due diligence yeah, let me look up this guy. Well, where's he from? Oh, Minnesota? I think it happened oh, when I've COVID started, Rich. Everybody had so much free time. They just all be, you know, hit the books and got their studies on, became experts in everything because that's where we saw everyone was a, a vaccine expert all the time. Oh, everyone was a right? doctor. Yeah, everyone you know was, what? A, was, a, was a COVID expert. That was a big step. Immunology ste- professor. Let me yes. tell you, that was a big step in know-it-all behavior. It COVID, COVID really... Uh, Everybody knew how it spread. Everybody were... They were all experts. Oh we're talking God. about the average fella on your social media timeline. COVID might be a great answer. That's at least a a major contributor to, to my question of whether it's sports, politics, anything. Why everyone is just so confident saying things with no... Research whatsoever. No accountability, I'm, no repercussions, I'm no not, nothing. I'm not saying like a deep dive, like you need to be uh you know you know, a political expert to comment on politics, but I'm saying I'm saying people don't even do a shallow dive. <laughs> like what, what they're just saying like, well, what do you what do I hear on well I saw something on TikTok, so here's what I say. It's knee like, jerk yo, reaction. Knee jerk reactions are what everything is based on now. So first of all, be better with that stuff, you dopes. And number two, this is more of a fun one. Every time you post something on social media, you know how you tell your kids, hey, kids, just know that whatever you post is there forever. It will never go away. So never send the boy naked pictures, sweetheart, no matter what he says. Hey, buddy, don't be sending pictures of your winky to people. You you give your kids these talks you on a winky. I'm just what do you want me to say on Fox Sports Radio? It just sounds so tiny and like, I'm sorry, winky. Don't send your <laughs> hog, son, to a... Uh, I'm saying you're chomper. <laughs> you you give your kids these talks about how to conduct themselves the right way because you tell them these things live forever. Mm. I want to just let you know, maturity has never prevailed on social media. So when I saw RG three post a picture with his beautiful wife, you knew, and they're both taking a huge bite. Out of a monstrous croissant. They're doing like the old lady in the tramp. You know how they ate spaghetti and ended up, you know. Yeah, meeting in the middle. Meeting in the middle. RG- it's kind of how um, how Rich and Spot eat hot dogs. I'm sorry. Um, RG3 puts on social media. 
it's always croissant o'clock in Paris. And you got RG3 on the left taking a bite out of one side of the croissant and his wife on the other side, and they're both holding it, you know, croissant. They're both in this position. And, and you know my, my the way social thought, media works. Yep. My first thought is, oh, God, RG3, did you not think of the photoshops? You have to realize. But then again, you have to think this, too. With the advent, as you put it, of AI, isn't anything possible anyway? Can't you just say, hey, I want a picture of RG3 in a croissant with his wife. And then you get it anyway. <laughs> like, well, does it even matter? So. And whatever they Photoshop, I mean, ah, Any- is he really going to care, I guess, <laughs> at this point? Because you could chalk up anything as fake nowadays, even if it's real. You're like, yeah, I don't know. I guess it was AI. I don't know. Yeah. You know what? I guess so. But, hey, your thoughts at Covino on Rich, I, I think that people- Are you following, guys? RG3 posted this very nice photo but someone's going to take it and turn it into a very dirty, what, provocative I'm, I'm just, photo. I'm just saying, where the croissant, where's the, where the croissant is, <laughs> him and his wife are, are daring social media. Oh, it's already happened. To have fun yeah, with this picture. If you thought it, it already happened. That's another internet rule. If you've thought it. Isn't it like yeah. rule 53 or yeah, rule 37? Some, something, like that. something says if you thought it, it already exists. So It already happened. It already couple, took place. A couple social media reminders before, before we play a... A round of Chipotle worker or Olympian. Just remember these two things. Don't give idiots ammunition Dan. and think before you tweet. Yeah, just like the same way you would tell your kids, yeah, just think about what you put on social media. Just assume maturity will never prevail. <laughs> and just as a whole, let's all try to just do a little bit of diving into a subject matter before you post about it. You know, sometimes though, Rich, as broadcasters... We're all guilty of uh, sometimes of you don't know what's it. true or what to believe or not. Like when the Amin Khalif story did break, we were just going by the facts that we had. Yeah, but at facts, the time. facts that you so heard. maybe you, maybe you preface it with as of now. No, but facts. Wait, 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 Covino, we didn't dive into it until a day after everybody true. else. If you that, think back, that was that was honestly yeah. it. Oh, yeah, and you know what, Danny G, it goes along with something else that again, Covino and I, uh, we're not hard hitting journalists. But we had the wherewithal to be like, you know, dude, I don't know enough about this to really talk yep. about it for 20 minutes. I don't want to come across exposed. It doesn't mean and a lot of really we're, smart we're scared people, to get out of our lane, but you don't want to say something that isn't true. I'm either. just saying a lot of smart people were like, she's a transgender. And I'm like, oh, God, they, that's incorrect. Now she's a gold medal winner. Now so, she's a gold medal winner. So take so that. Good for her.